today we're going to do um, more of a yin yang class. So we're going to do some movement to begin with. There are some challenging poses to begin with, um, but then later on we'll do some yin poses which we'll hold for a few minutes and are more relaxing. There's quite a few poses that are twisting or using some sort of balance, which is why I said some of them may be a little challenging, but um, yeah, this class is suitable for anyone and there's always options that you can take, easier options, more difficult options. Alright, so we'll spend a minute or two just getting ourselves grounded and ready for the practice. Sit however you're going to feel comfy. And just try to relax your arms and your hands, so rest your hands on your knees. Sit with a nice straight back to start to wake up your spine. Feel your spine stretch and up to the ceiling. And gently close your eyes. And you can bring your chin just a little bit closer to your chest, not too much, but just so that you're not looking up to the ceiling. We'll just spend a few moments here, just try to connect with your body, how you're feeling in your body. How you're feeling in your mind, what you hope to get from this practice or from any of your yoga practice. Maybe you have an intention that you'd like to set for yourself could be about the yoga, it could be about yourself. So for some people, some people say their intention is to, to get on their yoga mat more and to do more yoga or to develop a home practice. Or for some people it might be to allow themselves to have that time to stop and relax and to live in the moment, which is something we've all had to learn to do recently in the corona crisis. We can't plan too far ahead. We're just living in the moment day to day. It's just not normal for us. Um, but it's a really good practice actually. And start to deepen your breath. Becoming aware of the movements in your body, so coming back to the body. Feeling your chest rise, your lungs expand, your belly rise. Keeping a nice straight back, so don't forget about your back. Keeping the shoulders nice and open. Take a few more deep breaths here. And I'll just take you back to that, what we were thinking about a minute ago, about living in the moment. It's kind of the theme of this class. So for some of the balances, you have to really be focused on the moment. So I'll be bringing you back to that theme a few times during the lesson. Try to keep your mind focused on the here and now and what we're doing in this practice. And you can open the eyes up. We'll start with a nice twist. So opening the arms up wide and then bring your arms up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in here, stretch up. And then as you exhale, twist around to the right, but not too hard, just really gently moving until the body's warmed up. Breathing in, coming back to the center, stretching up. Exhale, twisting around to the left. And inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twisting to the right. And back again. And to the left. And back to the front. And then we'll bring the arms in front. Interlace your fingers and imagine you've got a ball, that you're holding a big ball there. Keeping your back nice and straight. Hugging that ball. And 
then turn your palms away, push the palms away from you, and inhale, stretching all the way back up to the ceiling, keeping your shoulders away from your ears, so you don't want to be up here, relax those shoulders down, you can look up just gently, and then releasing the hands, floating them back down. And we're going to come onto the knees. So sitting in hero pose. So your bum's sitting on your heels. Just spend a moment here. And then we're going to come up onto the toes. So tuck your toes under. And you're sitting on the heels again. I'll just show you from the side. So getting a nice toe stretch. We're going to do a few poses while we're here. We don't stretch the toes out often enough, so it's going to feel a bit weird, but good. And then stretch your right leg out to the side. So we've got a nice hip opener happening as well. And you're going to feel a lot of weight now on, those, on that left foot and the left toes, but we're not going to stay too long. Arms up to shoulder height, breathe in here. Breathe out, twist your body and torso around to the right. Breathe in, noticing the sensation in your left foot, so that should help to kind of keep you in the moment, connecting with how your body's feeling. And then bring the left hand onto your mat, open your right arm and chest, open up to the ceiling, and then sweeping that arm back and stretching it over to the left. A nice side stretch. Come back up, breathing in and exhale. Bring your leg back, sit on your feet and so come off the toes. And you might want to just lean forward and then hit the tops of your feet on the mat. And then sitting back down. And when you're ready to do the other side, we'll come back up onto the toes. So feeling that stretch in the toes. And then stretch your left leg out to the side, feeling that opening happening in the hip. Arms up to shoulder height, breathe in here. Exhale, twisting around to the left. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, twisting the other way. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, bring your right hand onto the mat and then open your chest, open your arm wide, looking up at the ceiling. Coming back around, sweeping that arm over the head, stretching a nice long stretch to the right. And coming back up. And then release the arms. Bring your leg back, come up onto the tops of your feet and just give your tops of your feet a little hit. And then sit on your bum, so we're going to come off the feet. And bend your knees and you want your feet to be uh, hip width apart, so you want a bit of space between your feet. And have your hands just after your hips. And there's options for this, you can make it um, a bit more difficult, from where you can keep your hips down on the mat. So I'll demonstrate with the hips down. So we're going to breathe in, we're going to stretch the right leg, and down, in, and we're going to switch legs. And you can do that with the hips down, or you can lift the hips up, and it becomes more of a balance. So choose your option, we're going to keep going with this for a few more rounds. Keep switching those legs, pushing into your hands. And on your next inhale, when you rise the right leg up, stop here, we're going to hold it. So we're balancing here. And then see if you can drop that leg out to the side, opening your hip, pointing it to the side. Then come back up and bring your leg back down. We'll sit on the mat and just give your knees a nice hug. 
Relax your head and your neck. Let's just take a few breaths here. And then coming back into the same position. This time we're going to start with the left leg first. Choosing to keep your hips down or coming up. And just start to do that movement. Breathing in, lifting the leg. Breathing out, coming down. Switching legs. Keep going for a few more rounds.
choosing to stay there or if you prefer you can move in and out. Enjoying that stretch. And then coming back to hands and knees, tuck the toes under, and then push yourself up to a downward dog position. Your bum up to the ceiling, heels releasing to the mat, look between your legs. And you can walk your dog a little bit if you need to, bending one knee at a time. And then walk your feet, step your feet towards your hands. And we'll come up, bend your knees slightly as you stand up, arms above your head. And then release your hands. And we're going to stand with the legs quite close together, in fact touching. So you really want to push your legs together. And then lift the arms up in front of you, hands together. And then sit down like you're sitting in a chair, bring your hands to your chest, tuck the tailbone in, so not with your bum sticking out, tuck that tailbone in. And now release the hands, open the arms wide as you stand up. Hands come back together and sit back into chair. Breathe in, open up, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale down to chair. We'll just do this a couple more times. And now hold yourself in chair. So we're gonna stay here for a few breaths. And you can choose to stay like this, or if you want, you can come up onto the toes, so we've warmed the toes up for this. Push your th uh, thighs together, your knees together, that helps. Coming up onto those toes, stretching the toes. Feeling the burn in the thighs. <laughs> so this is a more difficult option, you can stay with your heels down. And then lowering the heels, and take a twist around to the left. So putting your right elbow against your left knee, a really nice twist, but don't force it. Inhale, come back into your chair. And exhale, twisting around to the right. Inhale, coming back to the chair, standing up and opening the arms to the ceiling. And exhale. And now we're going to do some balancing. So try to fix your gaze on something. We're going to be, it's a moving balance, so it does require some focus. So get your mind in the zone. Fix your gaze on something on the floor or on the wall. Just engage your core muscles. So start to pull those stomach muscles in. Lift the pelvic floor muscles. Make a little bit of space between your feet. And then breathe in, lift the right leg in front of you, lift your arms up. So you've got the bent knee. And then exhale, you're gonna step that foot behind you. And the arms come down. Inhale, so we're moving balance, it's a bit trickier. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and now we're going to stay here and hold it. Grounding down into that left foot, focusing your gaze, focusing your mind, and then setting that foot back on your mat, releasing your arms, and just walk a little bit on the spot. Focusing on your point again, connecting with your body, pelvic floor, core muscles, tucking it all in. And then breathing in, lift the left leg and your arms up. And 
exhale, stepping that foot behind you to the right. Inhale, coming up, and exhale, stepping back. Inhale, coming up, exhale, stepping back. Inhale, coming up, and now we're going to hold it here for a couple of breaths. Grounding into the right foot. Focusing on your point. And, and placing your foot back down, release your hands. And as you inhale, open the arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your head and look up. And exhale, step back to plank. Bring your knees first onto the mat. And then bend your elbows, coming down onto the mat. Inhale, lift your chest and your head into cobra. And then exhale, we'll come up to hands and knees and then go straight back to child's pose. So we're coming into some of the yin poses now. So with your bum on your heels, you can choose to open up your knees if that feels better to bring your chest down towards the mat. And rest your forehead. And then we're going to walk the hands over to the left. So you're feeling a nice twist. And then relax your head. And you can bring the right hand onto your left arm. You feel a nice stretch on the right hand side of your body. If you don't feel it, maybe you need to come a little bit more to the left. Until you feel that stretch on your right hand side. We'll just spend a little bit of time here, because in the yin poses we hold them for a bit longer. But try not to let your mind drift. Try to focus on what you're feeling in the pose. If you're feeling anything, sometimes people think, what am I supposed to be feeling? So you're supposed to be feeling that stretch on the right hand side. And if it's too much, just walk yourself back a little bit. Coming back to the centre. Stretching out long with your hands. And then walking around to the right. And put your left hand on top of your right wrist or arm. Rest your forehead. And again, connect with how you're feeling. Do you feel the stretch? Is it enough? Is it too much? Noticing where your mind goes. Your mind will wander. It's normal. Thoughts will come in. But just let them go. Come back to your breathing. Back to your body. Back to my voice. And then stretching back to the middle. Stretching out long. And then looking up, looking in front of you. And you can lift the elbows up to so pushing into your hands. And then come back up onto all fours. And then Turning your legs to the side and come to sit on your bum. Sitting with your legs out straight. Flex your feet, sit nice and tall. With your hands by your hips. This is Dandasana pose or staff pose. Opening those shoulders, pulling those shoulder blades down your back. Opening up. Using your core strength to stay nice and straight. You can stare at your toes and that will also help you to keep your feet active and your legs active. Otherwise people tend to relax in the feet. Keep your feet nice and active as well. 
So it looks like they're doing nothing, but actually we're engaging most, if not all, of the body at the moment. And then stretch your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bringing both hands over to the left by your left hip. And look over your shoulder, so a nice gentle stretch to the left. Inhale, coming back up, and exhale, a gentle twist, stretching around to the right. Inhale, coming back up, and exhale, release the hands. And we'll come onto the left hand side first. So I want you to lie on the left hand side on your left forearm. Stretch the right leg over, straighten that leg out, and then bend the left leg and catch it with your right hand. And then once that's there, you don't want to just sit there lazily, you're going to push that foot away. So pushing that foot into your hand and then you'll feel the muscles activate in the top of your left thigh. So in this muscle here, you'll feel those start to activate. This pose is called cat pulling its tail, which I guess it kind of looks like. So trying to not sink into that shoulder joint, but keep yourself nice and upright, pushing into that forearm. If that feels too much, you can lie down instead and stretch the arm out. So do whatever feels better. That's a more relaxed version. If you feel that's what your body needs today, then do that. Or if you want, you can prop yourself up. Just stay here for a little longer. In any of these yin poses, you can choose to stay up to three minutes if you want to stay a little bit longer. So you can keep an eye on the time at home, at home and uh, stay longer if you want to. Again, reminding yourself, am I sinking into that shoulder? Push yourself back up. Am I still pushing that foot away? Try not to relax so much that you're not doing something. That you don't feel something. And we'll switch to the other side. So rolling back. And then come on to the right side. Up on the... Uh, forearm or stretching out, bring that left leg over, bending the right leg and catch the foot and push that foot away into the hand. Again, thinking about what you're feeling in the stretch, what part of the body is stretching out. Thinking about your shoulder, making sure you're propping yourself up. Nice active pose. Making sure you're not sinking down. And if you're thinking, actually, I just need to rest a little bit more, you can stretch out. And keep pushing that foot away. And actually, it's nice to try both versions because here you actually can feel that stretch in the thigh a little bit more. I find it's a deeper stretch for the thigh. So it is nice to try both variations and see what feels better for you. Noticing where your mind is, bringing yourself back to the moment, the present moment, If you find your mind's drifting to think about what you're going to cook for dinner tonight or anything like that, then just try to gently bring it back. No judgment, not getting annoyed or frustrated with yourself. It's really normal. Just bringing your mind back. Bring yourself back to the breathing. Keep that nice deep breathing throughout the practice. And 
stretching the leg out. We'll roll back onto the front. We'll come sit back up. Breathing in, arms come up. And exhale, folding forward. Grab your toes if you can, or your ankles. Have a nice stretch forward after that twisting. And then we're going to come onto the back and bring the knees towards your chest. Just give yourself a nice knee hug. You can pull the knees close to your chest. And for the next yin pose, you're going to need a bolster or um, a pile of cushions to go under your sacrum, under your tailbone. So sit yourself on the bolster. And you're going to lie down on your back. So you want to make sure your tailbone, your bum's a little bit over the bolster. It's more kind of your lower spine and your tailbone that's on the bolster or on your pile of cushions. Um, you might also need a strap or a belt. So you can use whatever you have around the house that's similar to this. Dressing gown cord, belt, whatever. And then Bending both knees to start with, slide that left foot a little bit further away. But try to keep the foot on the ground as you lift up the right leg. And then you can pull that knee towards you. Keeping that knee bent, try to grab your toe and pull that knee towards you. So it's a really deep stretch. You feel it in the hip flexor muscles around the groin. If you can't reach your foot, that's where the strap comes in. So then you can place the strap around the ball of your foot and use that to pull your knee towards you. So choose your option. It can be nicer to bring that elbow inside the knee and then you also open that hip up a little bit otherwise it's a bit difficult to open so open the hip and then you might be able to draw the knee a bit closer down if it's not comfy to grab the toe you can grab the outside of your foot do whatever's comfy We'll stay here for a few minutes. Again, noticing how it feels for your body. Seeing if you can release any more in that hip. Try not to hold on to any tension there. And also noticing the feelings in your left hip flexor because of that other leg being out almost straight. Oh, I can feel it in the left hip as well. Just noticing all the sensations. Stay here longer if you want to at home. Otherwise, when you're ready, release that foot and stretch both legs out long. Just relax here on your bolster for a minute. It's a really nice gentle back bend. If that feels too much, you can put your feet flat on the floor if the back bend doesn't feel comfortable. And then we'll do the other side. So start off by bending your legs again. And then slide that right foot away, but keep your foot flat on the floor. And then lifting up the left leg, Catching the toe or the side of your foot or using the strap. And let your hip open and draw that knee down towards you. Noticing how it feels on this side. Maybe it's different on the other side. Could be tighter in that hip. Could be easier. We're not the same on both sides. So it's really normal to feel different on one side.
Trying over time to draw that knee down, so keeping that motion going. Keeping your breathing nice and deep. If you feel a lot of tension here, as you breathe out, try to relax in the area where you feel tension. So breathing in energy, and breathing out, releasing any tension. Feeling your body relax and sink down as you breathe out. It can really help to use the breath like that. Stay a bit longer if you want to, or if you're ready, release the foot and stretch both legs out one more time. Just enjoy that stretch, that long stretch, that slight back bend. And then we're going to bend the knees, slide the bolster or your pillows out and just let your back come down onto the mat and have a nice long stretch. Lift your arms up as well. It's going to be a nice long stretch. And then we're going to use the bolster again. So just prop yourself up to begin with. So either your bolster or your cushion. So now we're going to lie them on your right hand side, like so, down by your hip and your leg. But you want it to be yeah, up here around your hip area. Straighten your right leg out and then come onto that right side. So you're on that right hip with your straight right leg. Bend in the left and then open it up. And then here you'll see where your bolster needs to be. So for me, mine needs to be a bit more that way. Because you want your knee and your leg to rest on the bolster. Let's get that out of the way. And then you can come down and just lie like you would in bed. If that's not comfy, you can stretch the arm out. Do whatever you want to do with your arms. This is more of a restorative, relaxing pose. So not so much about stretching or feeling so much, more about restoring, relaxing, and enjoying a comfortable position. And then we'll come back up. You can stay again, you can stay longer if you want to at home. And we'll switch on to the other side. So bring your bolster and your pillows over to the left. Come on to your left side. Bend the right knee and pop it on your pillows or your bolster. And rest on your left hand side. We'll just stay here for a minute or so. Enjoy it. Feel nice and comfy before we go into relaxation. Feeling everything in your body. Feeling how your body feels after the practice. And then we'll roll over onto the back, bring the knees to the chest one more time. And you can roll a little bit left and right. So just releasing, relaxing, fluid movements, really gentle, you're not forcing, just rolling around. Then choose how you want to lie for relaxation. Or maybe you want to sit, your choice. But otherwise, we'll lie down. You can 
stretch your legs out long if that feels good or keep a bend in the knees and let your knees fall together. And choose your hand position. You can have your hands resting on the ground with your palms up to the ceiling or you can rest your palms on your belly and feel that connection with your breathing. So for mindfulness and for staying in the moment, it can be better to have that connection with your breathing and your body. So I'm going to keep my hands there. Close your eyes gently. We'll take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel your body fill with that energy. And then exhale through your mouth. Letting go of any tension in your body, in your mind, any anxiety or anything you need to get rid of. We'll do that again, breathing in. Feel your belly rise, rise, rise. And breathe out through your mouth. Let go of anything that you don't need. And let your breathing return to normal. Feel your back relax into the mat, sinking into the mat. Give your head a little movement left and right. And then encourage your head and neck to relax, feeling heavy on the mat. Relaxing your shoulders, your arms. Feeling your shoulder blades against the mat, your spine, your hips, your whole pelvis resting on the mat. Feel your legs relax, your feet relax, even your toes. Give yourself this moment, a moment of peace and quiet. Choose to stay longer if you feel that you need a longer relaxation. Otherwise, you can gently start to move your toes and your fingers. So wiggle them around, just gently, not too fast. And then bringing your knees to your chest one more time. And don't pull on your knees this time. Just gently put your hands around your knees. Rolling onto one side to lie on one side on the floor or on your mat. With your eyes still closed, enjoying that peace, that darkness. And then gently push yourself up to come and sit on the mat. Inhaling, opening your arms up wide, all the way up to the ceiling, hands together. Stretching up and exhale, folding forward. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed the class. And see you next time. Bye.